Hi, I'm Ruth. And I'm Sean. And this is the YouTube channel where kids get their inventions made. Kids invent stuff. We challenged kids to send us their ideas for crime-fighting gadgets. And Jacob, aged 10, sent us his idea for the Cop Tank 5000. So the Cop Tank is this remote control police tank for pursuing criminals. And it's got a turret that fires uh, a net and it's got a loudspeaker on the front to shout warnings at criminals while you're chasing them. And that's what we're going to be making this month. Kids invent crime-fighting gadgets. So how are we going to build Jacob's tank? We've got the turret with the net gun that's mounted and of course the flashing light. Very excited about that. Nice. So we're going to need um, we're going to need this cannon, which I guess might work a little bit like the compressed air custard bomb launcher we built for the custard girl. Yeah, I kind of um, see this build being like custard girl meets dinner Dan. So it's like the same sort of launcher but coming from a robot. Okay, cool. And then we're going to have to obviously test that on a on a criminal. So we're going to have to fire fire the net to catch a criminal. Can I just put that out there? This is that's not me this time. I seem to test everything. Is this, do I have to do this? It's definitely your time to test. Fair enough, bring on. So to bring Jacob's idea to life, we're going to need to build a tank chassis to form the base of his cop tank 5000. We're going to need a rubber belt and wheels to make our tank tracks, a turret which we can turn, and some motors to move our tracks and make our tank drive. Jacob also wanted a megaphone to shout to the criminals. And of course, there is the net gun. We'll need some compressed air, a valve, and some projectiles to create our net cannon and allow it to catch our criminal. So to build the chassis of our tank, we've got some plywood, we've got some timber that we're going to use to build the body, but also some that we're going to use to make the tank tracks. And to make the flexible part of the tracks, we've got some of the tread off a running machine. For our tank tracks to run smoothly, we've got 16 identical kids stabiliser wheels. We've got two motors, one to drive each of our tracks, and we've got some transmitters and receivers from remote control cars so we can actually remotely control our tank. We've got a servo motor so we can pan the turret on our tank, and we've got some string and some net that we're going to fire out of our net gun. And to make the gun itself, we've got some pipe. And of course, the tank's got to look like a police tank. So we've got some fluorescent police tape and we've got a blue flashing emergency light. And finally, we're going to have a loudspeaker on the tank. And we're going to use one of these things, which is a wireless microphone, so we can shout warning messages that will come out of our loudspeaker. Oi, you! Stop right there! So to make our tank tracks, we've used some of this flexible rubber um, and we've made our own little slats that fit onto it. So we've got some that have got little teeth and we've got some that are just straight and we've glued and nailed those to our flexible material. So what we've got is we've got these tracks that bend really nicely and will go around our little wheels on the tank itself. And every other one has got a little tooth on it. So that guides it and stops the track from sliding off. So one of the key features on Jacob's tank is a net gun. And we've got a net cannon for the tank here. So it works using compressed air, a little bit like our custard firing superhero suit. So the compressed air is shoots through a valve, which is just here. And we have this end where the net shoots out of. Now, it looks a little bit different to Jacob's drawing, and that's because to make the net work, it needs to have four projectiles that shoot out so our net opens up to catch the criminals. And for our projectiles, we have 
seven up bottles, which go on the end of our four bits of pipe. And our net goes in our funnel there. And as we release our compressed air through our valve, these four bottles shoot out and our net goes over and catches our criminal. So that's our tank build complete. And all that's left to do is to test Jacob's Cop Tank 5000 next week. But to do that, we are going to need a robber. That's me. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Kids invent stuff.